Hello everyone, this is a demo of an application that is built on Meteor.js and uh, it uses Magento Shop as a backend and administration meaning that for example uh, for login information, for registration, for products etc. all that information comes directly, directly from Magento. So here I can uh, log in with my account, that is my Magento account. And you can see that I have successfully logged in. I can also change password and register in this application and the user will be registered as Magento user. Here's the menu. You can see at the bottom of the menu there is language switching. Languages as well comes from Magento. So at the moment for Magento there are two languages set up and you can switch between them right here. This application is a coupon application. There is uh, one bigger product that includes a lot of smaller products that is coupons that a user can use. Here is a list of uh, the bigger, bigger products that contains a lot of coupons. So there are two products at the moment. You can add them to cart it is a notification that the product has been added to cart and you can see that the product appears right in the cart uh, and also I have added some products before so there are some products already there you can quickly change the quantity of the products and even remove some products and that is all synchronized through the API to Magento so if I would log in into desktop Magento store, I would see that my cart is modified. Here is uh, my passes that I have already bought. You can share it. I, you can see here that I have already shared this and I can share it with other people as well. And right now I have received an email. Uh, email template is stored again in Magento and you can modify in Magento backend. So there is no configuration, separate configuration for the backend for this application. All is managed in Magento, including for example this slider, which is fully manageable from the Magento backend. Right here you can, if uh, for example I now share the application, I received some code and I can add uh, this new product to my products. You can see that it is successfully added and the new product slided in. In this case this is the same, uh, the same coupon product so it has the same design. You can see that here is um, multiple coupons under this product. You can uh, sort them, you can see all of them without grouping, sort them by numbers, price, etc. And uh, you can also utilize a coupon. So you click on a coupon, this is a specific coupon, you can utilize it. Uh, the nature of this application is that you utilize coupon, uh, you show this to the retailer when you go there and you get a discount or you get, a, get the product. So when that is done you can see that this coupon is used and you cannot use it again but you can buy uh, the whole pass with the multiple coupons again. So right now you can see that it is changed for, 
from uh, three valuable coupons to only one because I just used one. I just used this one, so this is not available anymore. And all this product information and uh, coupon usage, it is stored in Magento, it comes from Magento. So if I would be logged in in desktop as well, I would see that this coupon is used on my desktop. There is also some other custom features from uh, Magento, not just just some standard getting products, etc. For example, you can you can have you can uh, recommend this application to other people, and then you can get a referral fee if the user buys something. And this as well is managed in Magento. And there is also some custom features that uses uses the phone phone specific things. For example, there is a feature for scanning coupons, which, which lets you get to the coupons faster. So you can see that the native things like camera also can be used. And the cool thing about this. Uh, this way with implementing it with Meteor.js is that you do it once and you build it for Android and iOS. So you don't have to build sp uh, specific applications for each platform, you can build this one. This is HTML and CSS. And it is basically the same for iOS as well. So here still is the cart, and uh, at the moment the payments is not implemented yet in this application, but in future you can have uh, this cart, add products, and pay, pay for this as well. And again, configuration, as for example in this menu, uh, it, is, it is not a separate backend, it, is, it all comes from Magento side and it works uh, pretty fast as you can see in terms of, uh, for example, adding products in the cart or removing products in the cart. You can add products and it is added in Magento, you can add another, it is added in Magento, and so on.